Want to know how to set up a goal in Google Analytics? Are you looking confused because you don't know what one is? What if you could look at your website statistics and discover what website pages, which blog posts were driving the most sales, the most leads, the most email subscribers, which social networks were sending website to your traffic that was converting to leads and sales and subscribers, what lead magnets you were creating that were getting you the most leads. If you had that information, you'd be able to tailor what you do, what social networks that you use, what sort of content you create to get better results and more sales. How cool would that be? Here's the thing, you could have all that if you use Google Analytics goals, and they're even better when they're paired with UTM tracking links, which I'm gonna talk about in the next video. But first, if you would like a digital marketing lesson in 10 minutes or less per week, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell. That way you'll get notified once I've uploaded the latest lesson. So are you ready to learn about Google Analytics goals? Good, then I'll begin. What exactly is a Google Analytics goal? Well, when you set up a goal in Google Analytics, you're telling Google that when people visit this page or take a specific action like clicking a button on this page, that is a mark of success. You can set them up to measure sales, for leads, for button clicks, for video views, for views of specific content, and all sorts of other things. Once you've set up your goals, they'll appear in your Google Analytics dashboard. So you'll be able to see which channels are driving the best results. For example, I recently ran a five day challenge. It was free to sign up and I wanted to measure those signups. So I set up a Google Analytics goal. In my Google Analytics dashboard, under acquisition, all traffic and channels, I can sort my goal completions by the channel that drove the most results. As you can see, I got most of my results from social. There's no surprises there because I was running Facebook ads and it looks like they were working. What's interesting is you can also see that I got 13 conversions from email and if you look at the column next to the number of conversions, you'll see it got a much higher conversion rate than social media. What is conversion rate? We talked about this before. Watch this video here, but don't watch it yet. Wait until you finish this one. But that's not it. One of the other things that you can do is find out what page people originally landed on before they converted as a customer on your website. So here I'm using the example of my strategy template download. This time go to behavior, site content, landing pages, and just like before, select your goal and then sort the results by goal completion. Now you can see that the most goal completions came from people that actually landed on the landing page that I created for this template. You can also see that the second highest number of goal completions came from my homepage. That's what that forward slash means when you see it in Google Analytics. And then you can see there's a selection of single signups and they're coming from individual blog posts. How cool is that? Okay, so I persuaded you, this is something you should do. But what do you need to set up a goal? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a simple destination goal. And for that, you will need a thank you page, sometimes called a confirmation page. And this is a page that customers or people who make an inquiry or people who download something get sent to once they've completed the process. This is really important for all your measurement, not just for Google Analytics. So if you don't have one or don't know if you have one, have a little word with your web developer. You'll also need to make a note of any of the pages that people need to visit before they visit the thank you page. So for example, for my five day challenge, you visited the landing page for the challenge. You could read the information there and click a button that would bring you through to a form 
to sign up for the challenge. And when you completed the form, you were sent to the thank you page. So that's a three step process. People needed to visit all three pages for it to register as a goal. So grab the links for your thank you page and any other pages that people need to visit before they get there. Now it's time to log into your Google Analytics. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. Click the cog at the bottom left-hand side of your Google Analytics page. This will bring you into the admin panel. And on the far right-hand side, click on goals. Click new goal. And Google offers us some templates here, but my goal doesn't meet any of those parameters. So I'm gonna choose custom. We're going to set up a goal that measures success when someone arrives at the thank you page. So select a destination and give your goal a name, something that will be easy for you to understand when you see it in your Google Analytics dashboard. On the next screen, add the link to your thank you page. And then the cool bit, switch on funnel. And in that funnel, add the links to the pages that people will need to visit before they arrive on the thank you page. And if you tick the required button, it's only going to measure a goal success if people complete the whole funnel. Taking my five day challenge as an example, we know we have a landing page, a form page and a thank you page. That's a three step funnel. We've already added the thank you page as the goal destination. Step one will be the challenge landing page and step two will be the form page. Whew, that's a lot of information. Are you still with me? Good, because now it's your turn. Go and set up some Google Analytics goals. You'll soon know which channels are driving the best business results and pair them with UTM tracking and they're even better. Wait, what's UTM tracking? I'm gonna show you in our next video. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell.